Hello my friends. I'm going to show you how to either make or acquire metal hoops to hold the drum skin onto this planter drum or a djembe that you may have. You need hoops to make this uh, drum head and uh, what I have here is a hoop that needs welded. Um, and so for that reason I have a welder I didn't want to get it out so I used the uh, clothesline wire or guy wire to make these hoops now you can find hoops and these came from a tomato cage where I snapped the verticals off you can see here where the spot welds were and it'll leave you a hoop now the hoop has to be of particular size for whatever drum you're using so on my drum I needed a small hoop and I took the smallest one here from the tomato cage and this is a solid hoop the larger ones I needed to weld to get the exact size. So instead of the welding, I use the seven wire to make a cable, and the cables are then wrapped. Now, to get the uh, rims, um, you can be creative, and what I have done is used these cages for um, tomatoes and I take them apart and the way to break these is when you take one of the uh, rings and there's a vertical touching you take the ring and you nudge it back and forth and just keep doing that just a small amount and it'll snap at the spot weld uh, the spot weld usually gets kind of brittle and they will fail with the flexing so you can get all the rings off that way and then the vertical piece can be used if you want to bend your own hoop to a specific size and then weld it okay and then what I have done I used for this lower one I used the lower hoop lower ring and uh, so it was solid and welded the upper one I needed a specific measurement to fit over the top and be able to squeeze or sandwich the uh, rawhide in there so I needed a specific size so I used the uh, wire this is galvanized wire I bought uh, uh, 14 gauge and you can get away with using 16 gauge a little bit lighter now when I made these hoops these hoops are 12 and a half inch diameter and uh, there's seven wires in that loop this is a hundred foot reel. I paid about eight dollars, so uh, this will make four, at least four loops. So that's two dollars for the hoop. Um, so that's a pretty good deal, and uh, makes a real nice, uh, per almost perfectly symmetrical uh, hoop. Um, if you want a heavier this uh, gauge, this is about a 3 sixteenths. It's the larger uh, tomato hoop that's made, and I think these are about five, six dollars for the tomato cage. Um, you could go to the hardware and buy 3 16th or a quarter inch rod and then bend bend the rod. And uh, the way I bend the rod is uh, I'll use my vise. And I'll use, uh, in the past, I used uh, a fork, uh, piece of metal that bent U-shape, and I would uh, place the wire between, and uh, just little nudging at a time uh, between those two stationary points, and it'll bend a hoop. The other method I, that I use, it, which is real slick, and most people have this around, and I'll go get the tool, I use a... Uh, uh, crescent wrench and what I'll do is I'll clamp this in the vise and I use this hole 
and I'll place my wire in here and I'll just keep nudging this way in the vise a little at a time. It'll make a slow curve. Uh, and you'll just, after you get the curve, you'll just repeat it until uh, you're down to like this. And you're nudging. And you'll make the perfect hoop. And then uh, you just need to get someone, or if you have a welder, uh, weld that loop closed. This is the upper hoop, and we need two of these. And uh, what you're going to make it out of is this is called clothesline wire. It's actually just galvanized wire. Um, there's a, this is uh, 14 gauge. You can make the hoop out of 14 or 16 gauge. The 14 gauge is going to make about a quarter inch diameter, 16 gauge will make it slightly under. You need seven loops of wire and uh, I need to make this uh, the diameter, uh, the finished diameter of, of this hoop. And the reason you need seven, and I'll show you why, and I have seven points. Okay, now let me give you a close up of what we're going to do. Okay, if you look at these coins or visualize them, that that's the end of a piece of wire that was cut. So that's a cross section. So you want seven cross sections. Okay, so if you take one and make it the center and you go around it with seven of the identical sizes you can see it makes a perfectly tight bundle if you go to an odd number it's going to give you something awkward so seven works as a perfect size for a bundle of wire or a cable is basically what we're making. Okay, the upper hoop, I needed this diameter with that gap. So I've already measured this out and this is uh, just, it measures 12 and a half inches. So what I did was I needed seven so I took a five gallon bucket that measures 12 inches across and I made eight wraps around the five gallon bucket. So that gives me a little excess. So the first loop is the one that is going to determine the size of this finished hoop. So what I'm going to do is take a piece of tape Scissors would work a little better. And I'm going to open this up. Tape it together. Okay, there's the base this is going to be the center wire okay now I have the the uh, rest of the wire in a bundle and I have it tied and what I'm going to do is slide that knot as I need the wire and I'm going to wrap this around The center and the reason I'm wrapping it it's hard to get all these the same length unless it's going to be held by the that center center wire if you add a wire into your hoop 
you want to make sure that that wire that you're adding is being guided by the two wires on either side of the wire that you're adding and not crossing over one of the wires that's adjacent to it and you do this until you complete the entire bundle of seven right here before I cut double check ahead, and we cut this that was my excess and there is the cable Now, being twisted, wrapped, the ends aren't welded, but there's no way that this will ever slip uh, being held like that. And now that we're done working with the wire, you don't need your safety glasses. Now, to finish the hoop, I'm going to wrap it. You could use cloth. In this situation, I am using uh, yarn. And what I'm going to do is start this way, leave a piece of the yarn there, and come across that piece. And each time I go around this, I pull it tight. And what I found is you can do it this way, make a bot four to six loops then you follow with this thanks for watching my friends bye bye